On the outside, they look healthy, but for thousands of newborns, what's on the inside is deadly. In tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, Patty Kirkpatrick shows us how one drop of blood is giving doctors a look into the future. Why is it? Wait by the factor? Whenever nine-year-old Grant Hall wants a snack, he has to calculate a complicated math problem. Everything he eats is not only weighed, but also logged. Most of my foods come come from special companies that make food for people like me. While Grant looked like a healthy newborn, a genetic disorder known as PKU was inside his little body, which means he can't break down a lot of the protein that we eat. Because Grant can't metabolize an essential amino acid, we have to actually do the job of the liver by weighing out and measuring all the foods. PKU is one of 29 disorders detected in a test using just one drop of blood. These children look perfectly normal and you would not detect them without this technology. Doctors draw the blood from a newborn's heel. All those samples are then entered into the newborn screening program at the state lab. By analyzing one drop of blood, the March of Dimes estimates thousands of newborns' lives are saved in the U.S. every year. And timing is everything. If we don't detect those early, the child could be dead in a week or two. Without this blood test, our infant mortality would go up. Uh, the number of children with special needs would increase significantly. Grant is now in third grade and thriving. His parents realize just how lucky they are. By about three months, um, undiagnosed, um, he would have had severe brain damage, and that's if he would have lived. Such technology would not be possible without the March of Dimes. Tomorrow, the March for Babies begins at 7 a.m. at the Wesley Bolin Plaza. For all those details, you can always go to our website, azfamily.com.